Hi and welcome. Crazy Coffee Lady here and it's coffee time. Yesterday was Easter and it was a beautiful day in the morning and a rainy day in the afternoon. We got a little bit of both and that's spring in Illinois for you. One of the things I really love about the Easter holiday is that it is during spring and everything is new. The trees are starting to bud, the grass is turning green, flowers are starting to come up. We've got some that are coming up a little bit. And I just love this time of year because we're coming out of winter, we're coming out of the phase where everything is dormant and kind of dead. And even the sky is more blue, the birds are singing in the morning. I love when the birds come back and we hear them singing in the morning. So it was a beautiful morning. And then in the afternoon we got some refreshing rain that's going to make everything green up again or even more. I shouldn't say again because it's already turning green. But it was just it was just a really nice day. I got to spend time with my family. I got to fly my drone around a little bit and got to have four days off of work because the company took a holiday on Friday and again today on Monday. And I'm just really excited that I can be home today, going to get a few things done, maybe a little bit of spring cleaning. And it just feels really good to be, it's like a mini vacation to have four days off of work. I love it. And my weekend wasn't filled with activity. It just was kind of relaxing, got some things done, got, some, got to visit. It was just really nice day. You know, it was a beautiful Easter. So I hope you all had a beautiful Easter and are having a beautiful spring. Because spring here is just so nice. I feel so much better um, than I felt during winter. During winter I start to get a little bit low. I'm lacking vitamin D from the sunshine. I don't really like the cold weather as I've talked about in other vlogs. And then spring comes along and it starts to warm up and the sun comes out a little bit more. and we do get storms and rain, but in between those we get some really beautiful days and I'm thankful for every beautiful day. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about today is gratitude because I try to practice gratitude in my life every day. I try to stay positive, although I do have my moments. It's a default for me to go to the negative. When something goes wrong, it feels to me like everything is wrong. That is kind of my normal baseline and I really have to pull myself out of that and, and tell myself you're not having a bad day, you're having a bad moment and everything isn't wrong, just this one little thing and this is going to pass and everything else is good and then I have to remind myself to be grateful. I have to be thankful for so much in my life, so many things, right down to I'm grateful for this coffee. I'm grateful that I have everything that I have, a nice home to live in, nice cars, the material things, but also the non-material things, the things that you can't buy, the things that have a deeper meaning in my life, my kids, my grandkids, my wife, my parents, all of my family, my job, my friends. I'm so grateful for all of those things and I'm grateful for the small things. I'm grateful that for my little drone that I get to fly around and have fun with. I'm grateful for YouTube that I can post videos because it's a hobby of mine. I'm grateful for everyone who watches and everyone who subscribes, likes, or comments. I'm grateful for the loves that are in my life that I even have life. I'm grateful for my health especially, that I'm healthy. I'm grateful to be able to exercise, ride my bike, ride the exercise bike, soak in the hot tub. There's just so many things. The fact that today I'm pain free. I had a good night's sleep in a comfortable bed and was able to wake up today and get out of bed and walk around. I know there are people who are suffering who don't have that who would give anything to be able to have a good night's sleep and wake up and walk around. So I'm grateful for every little thing and I have to remind myself that when I get in a funk, like in the middle of winter time or 
just if I'm having a bad day, I have to remind myself that things are so good. Every moment is good. This very moment, just take a deep breath in and let it out. Let out all the negative and try to stay positive because like I said, my default, my normal in my head is to go to the negative and I fight that. I fight that every day and try to stay positive because that's what keeps people healthy. That's what helps you get through whatever you have to go through. And I know things aren't always going to be as good as they are right now, or they may not be. I know that I have a charmed life, and I have had a charmed life, and I'm so thankful for that. But I'm thankful for everything that I've gone through that's gotten me where I'm at, the things that weren't so charmed. Because of course it isn't perfect. Not everything is roses and pink clouds, right? So I'm grateful for every little thing that has brought me where I am today. And I don't know what the future holds. There, I know there are going to be wonderful things, and I know there are going to be not so wonderful things. Everybody faces grief. Everybody faces death. Everybody faces loss and sorrow and depression and anxiety. And I do suffer from those things. And when that's happening, that's when I try to bring myself around and make a gratitude list. And if it means I have to start with the letter A and go all the way through the alphabet and think of one thing that starts with each letter, or sometimes I just come up with 10 things, or I just think of as many things as possible, right down to I'm grateful to have coffee and half and half to put in it. I'm grateful for my coffee maker, my refrigerator. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for the ground under my feet, the breath in my lungs that I can even take in a breath and let it out so easily. Those kinds of things. I'm glad to have both eyes and fairly good vision. Yeah, I need glasses, but I can still see. I'm thankful for that. I'm not facing, at least at this moment, some things that I know other people are facing. But we are all blessed and we are all loved. And Easter is just such a good time to remember that. Whether you're a religious person or a spiritual person or an agnostic or an atheist, everybody has somebody in their life to love and to be loved, even if it's only yourself. If we can just learn to love ourselves, that is half the battle right there. Because of course I grew up with things that came in. I was born just pure love. I was so zen as a baby. And this is one thing that I love to see in my grandbabies, how zen they are. And then the world starts to come in and limiting thoughts and impressions that I formed and things that are maybe not true. And this committee comes into my head that starts to tell me I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not worth it. And those are the times when I have to say, that's not really true. That doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what other people think. It does matter what I think. And I don't have to believe those things that those that the committee is telling me. I don't have to believe any of those negative things. It doesn't matter to me if I'm pretty to you. What matters to me is that I've got good health and I can see I can actually see what I look like. And beauty comes from a lot deeper than just what I look like, right? We all know that beauty comes from within. And I just try to be a beautiful person and do good things and love people and especially love myself and take care of myself. And that doesn't mean to be vain or conceited because that's one of those voices that I hear in my head telling me, if I say I love myself, that means I'm conceited. That doesn't mean that. And for some people, being conceited may not be a, a bad thing. And I think we should all just take a few minutes every day and think of some affirmations, especially if you have trouble accepting yourself or loving yourself. Just take a deep breath, breathe out all the negativity, and think of as many things as you can. Maybe it's only three things. Maybe it's five things. Maybe it's one thing. 
one good thing that you like about yourself because we're all likable to somebody and we should all like ourselves because who else do you have? We only have ourselves. So in the end, if there's nobody else in your life that loves you, you can love yourself. And it's taken me all these years, 50 years, to really come to terms with this. Actually, I discovered this in my 40s. But there are days I still don't love myself. myself. I still say things derogatory towards myself, like, oh, I'm stupid, or I call myself a bad name in my head. I don't even, sometimes I do it out loud. Sometimes it's just in my head. And then I have to say, no, I'm sorry, self. That isn't true, and I'm not going to accept that. So if I can think of three things that I like about myself, I think one of them would be that I'm able to love people and forgive people. And I have a lot of people in my life that I do love. I think another good thing about myself is that I'm likable to other people. I must be because I have friends and I have people that like me and I have acquaintances that like me. Not everybody's going to like me and that's okay because I don't have to be accepted by everybody but I have to be able to accept myself. And one more thing that I like about myself, I like it that I'm a crazy coffee lady. I'm not sure why I like that. I just do. And I guess I don't really have to have a reason. So I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for sharing my coffee time with me. I hope you'll come and join me for other coffee times. If you liked it, please leave a comment below. I'm always interested to hear what you have to say, whether you liked it or didn't like it, if you agree or disagree, if there's something else you'd rather hear me talk about or you'd like to engage in a conversation, please leave a comment below. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe, please like, and please share. Have a beautiful day. Peace.